hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we will learn how to run a text to image generation model on google collab and uh, this is the model that we will use from hugging face hugging face provide open source models like uh, i'm using stable diffusion stable diffusion is famous for text to image generation models uh, text to image generation tasks and uh, this is also available on hugging face we can download this model and we can also run this model on google collab but uh, if we, we if we want to use this in our local system then we need the gpu because without gpu it will take a lot of time because the size of models are very large so that's why i will use the google collab for this purpose so let's see how we can do this so let's open uh, mm, let me open hugging face so we will see the model first this is a stable diffusion model so let's open hugging face this is the hugging face website and mm, let's uh, search the model and the, this is the models and we can see lots of models here like uh, image classification video to text and text to image image to image so we are going to use uh, text to image model mm, this is the hugging face website <coughs> and let's open google collab so let me open google collab for because we are doing all the code we are right we will write all the code in google collab let's open this uh, i have already created a notebook so let's open this notebook so yeah this is the notebook and uh, this is uh, the codes that we will have to run for to run this model and this is the name of the model let's uh, copy this and paste here this is the model and we can copy this model name from here just by clicking this and we can paste here so let's see let's explore some more things here and this is the details in this website uh, how to use this model we can directly use this model by doing some line of codes and this is the limitation all the details about this model and this is the files and version as uh, this is the size of this model like 4.27 and 7.7 .7 gbs we can download this model also by clicking on it and our model is started downloading but it will pro we will need a gpu to run this model in local system so that's why we will use uh, google collab so i have just cloned the repository of stable diffusion and uh, this is the requirement.txt and pip install xformers that's it and uh, we will directly jump into the ui of uh, stable diffusion so we need a hugging face also for this purpose we need hugging face library and uh, model path we need to mention the model path this is the file name and this is the name of the file like uh, model and uh, this is the model path and this is where we launch the website ui website of stable diffusion let me stop this it's already running so let's run all the code and see how it uh, works let's run this first it will uh, take some time depending on the internet connection let's change the runtime so make sure that you you should change the runtime runtime must be on gpu so change the runtime while uh, before running this it's running it will take some time because it's uh, cloning the github repository it's downloading github repository so it will take some time there are lots of models available on hugging face but and open these are open source model we can use in our local system so let's run this also okay so let me see yeah so this is the github repository we have cloned in google collab and 
we can see there are lots of files in this repository like models extensions ui files there are lots of files available in this repository let's launch this and we will get a web ui url we just need to click on that url then we can directly go to the web page of stable diffusion so it's running and it's showing the python version like it's using 3.10.12 version so let's check the link it's showing the downloading status this is showing 42 percent completed and it's showing the size like 3.97 g So it will take some time. It's a seventy three percent completed, and if we have a good internet connection, then it will it can take less time. Okay, it's completed now. So yeah, so this is the link that we need to click. So it's. A, g radio dot live so need to click on this link and we can jump on the website so this is the link that we need to click so this is the website that's uh, loading and we need to wait for some more time so this is how it's look like it's a uh, a web UI page of stable diffusion this is the URL and we can mention the prompt here like uh, we can so let's write the prompt and this is the prompt so let's generate the image and we can get the image here so this is how it's generating the image So this is how it uh, looks like and uh, we can also download the, this image by clicking here so just click on it and we can download this image this is a very simple simply we can generate uh, any image from here and we can also download this image so let's write something more like uh, So we can explore this website. There are lots of things like image to image extras, PNG info. So let's generate this also. Okay, it's generating. Okay, it's not generated. So regenerate this. sometimes uh, this can show that there is no generation but you can also interrupt this like this is running in big set so let's interrupt this and regenerate so yeah this is extras and pngs in for checkpoint and settings yeah so this is uh, all about this website and we can explore this website for more knowledge so this is how it's generated the image so it's to look good and let's generate some more images we can also use a different model we can we had we just need to paste the model path and model name so we can also use other stable diffusion model and uh, let's regenerate this so while generating it may take some time but uh,
this is the model name like v15 and this is how it's generating image but it's showing the back side of the photo back side of girl photo but we want the front face it's showing the back side of the girl so let's change the prompt friends we are getting all the images based on the prompts if we are writing good prompt then we will get good images but uh, if we don't write good prompts then we will not get good responses so let's change the prompt and let's rerun this so these are some more options available here that you can explore while running this is how it's generated the image like it's showing the front face of the girl and showing the dress so this is the more details like text inversion hyper hyper networks checkpoints lora there are lots of thing which we can explore in this website like uh, schedule type uniform keras simple normal there are lots of thing we can explore in this website like and this is also something related to the sampling method so this is the this is how we can generate text to image model there are lots of thing we can do in this website so this is the simple tutorial i hope you like it and if you like it then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you